Put my thing on. Three, two, and one. All right, my good people, we are live. We just here to chop it up a little bit about the post bread for release thoughts and more. So go ahead and introduce yourselves, my good people. Ladies first. Oh, hey everybody. It is your favorite lady sneaker here from the D313 Retro Queen. Yeah, I got a lot to say. <laughs> OG kicks with a Z down in ATL. What's good, fam? All right, of course, you know it's E Money Shoes here, E Money Shoes on IG, and E Money Shoes on the two. So I'm gonna try to stop fidgeting because I know the loud all over the place fidgeting like I got too much done energy drink. I don't think I drunk one yet, so I should be okay. So now that we got the madness out of the way, everybody, what did y'all think about the chaos of yesterday? Nani. Well, what here. Um, what do you think? Um, oh, did you cop? You passed? Yeah, yeah, I definitely cop. I passed on two, though. I just uh, cop one. Um, it, it was, it was refreshing to see a lot of the. The, the old heads come out yesterday. Um, I went by the mall. Got there probably like 15 minutes after they open. So, of course, all the resellers were there. They were there deep. Right. Um, but they were about, about 1030. Oh, they was flooding the mall. I don't know if they saw the sneakers out when it sold out. And they started running to the mall. Then but they were pulling up, running out the cars, trying to get everything they could. So, yeah. I know at that point, one store after 11, it was giving away first come first serve, so I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people start running, blocking to um, one of the DTLR stores. But uh, they was they were selling out, man. I saw people walk around with four or five bags of, of fours. Right. So yeah, they definitely was there for them though. But like I say, it, it was it was kind of refreshing though. You know, chopping it up in the mall a bit with some of the old cats. Yeah, I thought it was good yesterday too. It was kind of real, very rewarding. The uh, sneaker community I saw like on IG, right? Everybody was helping each other out, giving people oops, asking who need this, who need that. Cause you know, it was like, it was weird, right? It was like, you either hit it all or you didn't hit it all. And some people's under the notion, right? Oh, I can wait, it's gonna sit. We ain't gotta do what we need to do. Yeah, it was an easy cop. If you did your homework, it was an easy cop. But if you was behind the eight ball, you was scrounging all day yesterday trying to do what you need to do i'm surprised still the resale is kind of up there still for the amount of pads that you would think be out there what yeah i think, think i might have saw some at like 270. yeah what do you think retro uh -huh. how you think yesterday went well you see what i was doing but, um, <laughs> i mean i think everything was like like i like like i thought about it like it was like okay so y'all, you got all these pairs coming out. People was chilling, you know, because they're like, oh, you know, I ain't got to be on there at exactly 10 o'clock, you know. I'm giving a minute. Let the traffic die down. I think that's what a lot of people were thinking. And then they probably all decided, you know, I'll give it a half hour or so to calm down. And then, like, that's when that rush started to come in because, like, everything was sitting there for a minute at 1030. But then... Yeah, what I think, too, that the... Uh... Sorry. <laughs> they so... Once they sold out of their sneakers out there, I think people start panicking. Yeah, that's when people start panicking because then you already realize all the stores did raffles. So you kind of like, dang, I ain't going to get my pair because everybody did raffles. It ain't really no first come, first serve where I'm at. It right. was um, a bunch of that. I don't know, no store that actually did first come, serve. Now that I think about it. So then people was waiting until three o'clock to see who didn't pick up their raffles to try and scramble for pairs. So I just happened to be at the mall anyway. So I, my kid wanted to go to the mall. So I just was out there and he just was like looking for some stuff. Couldn't find anything that he wanted in his size. So we ended up just going back to champs. Like, you know, I was kicking it in there with them for a while anyway, because he was, you know, indecisive. Yeah. And they just happened to tell me like, yeah, we got some pairs or whatever. So a lot that people didn't pick up, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I was like, well, I'm about to run around here. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm going to run around to this store, see if you want to find this outfit. I'm looking for 11 and a half and 12, man. Like, you know, I got you. So went to go do that, came back about three. It was only one other person in the line, like right there. And it was like, you good. 
and our, we just kind of picked up our pairs. It wasn't even a lot of people waiting, like, behind me, though. So I'm like, dang, it don't happen like that, you know what I'm saying? But then, like, by the time we were checking out, people were coming, like, all in the stores. I'm like, oh, okay, there they go. I'm about to sell out. But it was just kind of like it did on the sneakers app. It was kind of like nobody in there asking for them, nobody talking about them. And then by the time I'm checking out, it was like people just coming in the store. And you could tell they were all coming in for that. So, right. I don't know. It was kind of weird. But, I mean, grade school still sitting around. So, I saw that. I saw on the sneakers app. Um, sevens are sold out. And I think six and a halfs are sold out now. Right. You um, A lot of people, too, they're thinking they're sitting thinking on restock. Like, in my opinion, I tell people... It's gonna be multiple restarts. Don't, don't. I, you shouldn't. I, in my opinion, you shouldn't base your copping off a restock if you don't have to. Because this was the peak time that they grabbed the shoe. So now that everybody got the shoe, some people that's thinking of, you know, that was sitting on the fence that may not have doubled up. Now you got to for a smaller load. Now you got people that may actually want to double up. So it just, you know, I, you don't depend on restock because that ain't always true. You gotta. You don't know what Jordan brand is thinking about. So you got McFly in the building. What up, McFly? Stopping through, showing love. What do you think? How you, what do y'all think about when people sit and think you no know, restart's gonna happen? You think that's a good way of doing it? Or you think that's bad practice? I think it's bad practice because you don't know if there's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Like at first, the way I usually go is like if they had those early releases and stuff, then they had a regular release, and then they had that whole that whole restock thing for everybody but like this is kind of different because Can I get- you know what i'm saying you have people buying so many extra pairs just for themselves not right. even resale you know what i'm saying people are doubling up and tripling up yeah. for themselves so you know on top of what they may be reselling and you know you got the small time resellers then you got the people with the bots I mean, when I looked on Sneakers app, just looking at one size, it's so many sizes available on Sneakers app. It's just crazy. It's like, okay, the resellers got a big chunk of that. So how many people actually ended up missing out because of that? Those people are already headed to StockX. Buying them on StockX. I think, let's see. I saw somebody bought a pair for $288. Oh, yeah, yeah. Price. I was looking at price. I was looking at the price on, on uh, StockX, too, and I knew. I, I looked at it when I went in the mall. I think it might have been like 260 250 Probably about 12 it went up to like 275 280 So I guess once they start seeing them selling out, the price started to go up. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you're going to wait, anytime you wait on an on a OG colorway, you're going to take a chance. You know, right. you waited on those, on those candy cane 14s and see what happened to those. I just yeah, saw those, the, uh, right I saw those in the champs too. Okay. It was GS, but yeah, they oh, go, yeah. Man. I it's not a solid strategy, but it can happen. That is true. Got I am that dude up in the building. Welcome to the What's party. happening? What's happening, fellas? I'm trying to get my mm-hmm. audio right. I can't hear, so I'm trying to fix my phone. It's all good. McFly said so he got two of his for one eighty seven land that cash in coupon. Yeah. That was the only good thing about that. You had the coupon. Yeah. So. Yeah, I caught my with a coupon. So. Like, but, okay, but it's always, it. though, like uh, us sneaker YouTubers, it's just a way of trying to gather information. But the best information, you got to do your own there, where you use what people say on YouTube, try to, you know, get, get you a formulated game. But like you said, the Candy Cane 14 was a sleeper. I ain't even seen no restocks on those. Have you seen any? Nope. Nah. Nah, I haven't seen any, so. Yep, so that shoe is going to hold. So, I mean, so people thinking restart, what if they don't restart the bread for it? Now, now you got to go stock X or go oh or buy it locally from somebody that's going to charge you the up because they know the shoe, what the shoe is worth. Right. Okay, so now we're moving along. So we got the bread for us out of the way. Um, another thing, a lot of people still on the fence about how bad does spending two hundred dollars and having a crooked Nike Air on the back or one fifty? What is that a major factor or a minor flaw? Well, I mean, with me, it's it's minor. You know, we we've always talked about quality control 
But in the past, you can see certain shoes has sold out, got bad quality. But we still go out and buy them. So as long as it ain't got a lot of glue stains, stitching missing. Because I think I only had one joint was that International 12 I had to take back because it had stitching uh, busting out of the seams. Right. That's the only, twi- that's the only joint I took back. You know, other than that, it was just, just a little glue stain, minor defects I could live with. Miss three out three, what you you on the way in? I mean, mine ain't crooked, so I don't know. But <laughs> fine. I mean, I got I got a pair that's crooked. I mean, you know, I got the big foot giant in the room. But um, when I was looking at it, I mean, I, I mean, if you staring at it like now that everybody's saying it, it's like you already know. It's in your mind already. But if you just walking yeah. and you moving, you really can't tell like that. I mean. It is what it is at this point. They all gone, so apparently didn't nobody care. Oh yeah. yeah now, now let's let's be devil. I'm gonna be devil advocate here now. Aside from the obvious that is retail versus uh, retail pass versus cross the water pair. Other than that, what is the difference between you buying a retail pair for two hundred dollars and the fufu pair cheaper but got the same flaw? And if you were just the only one wearing it, you ain't trying to sell it, what would be the key point to justify not buying the Fugazi pal? Actually, like, that's probably going to be the way you tell that somebody got a fake pair because it's straight. <laughs> like, yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's, You're right. <laughs> that's the crazy part. And then my <laughs> whole point is they probably, they, they didn't pay less than you and they shoe straighter than yours. So, like, are you pissed at that point? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you, you that was a good one right there. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like, because for real, you know, they're gonna try and make it as perfect as they can. It's gonna be like, I wish I could see a fake pair because it's probably perfectly lined. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not, can you really tell? Like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I think at this point, it's just crazy because you're gonna. Right, no iron right off the bat if it's fake because it's straight. So, which is crazy because it should be the opposite way. You know what I'm saying? It should be the other way around. So, I don't know. It's almost like at this point, people on the verge of if the quality on the UA pair are going to be better, I don't know what to tell them. I mean, I know you got the whole insole situation and all that, but some people just don't care. Big Fly said a sad truth. Three one three. You speaking the truth? What you think, OG? I mean, be honest with you. Well, as a cricket, UAs, I really don't really even look at the UA uh, shoes. Uh, like I said, if I can't afford to get a shoe, I just won't get it. You know. But like, like three one three was saying, if you are looking at the face, they're going to be straight. But you know, for us being cricket on the back, hell, everybody still went out and bought them. You know that that cricket Nike sign was going on when they got the early drops people were talking about. Mm-hmm. And we still went out and got them. And <laughs> we knew right. that sign was crooked, but right. we still went out and bought them. So I don't think it's a big, big issue. Now, another thing we're not paying attention to, Jordan Brand is conditioning us for this $10 increase. Have y'all been paying attention to that? Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> And ain't nobody talking <laughs> about it, but it's 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 now it's it's like they jabbing us, sticking and moving with us, right? It's like okay, one ninety here, two hundred there, and well, actually the first test case, right, was the George Elevens at two twenty. So you figure next thing you know, maybe they might stick another ten on on the bread. It ain't like we ain't gonna go buy shoot the bread. Probably could be two fifty. We still gonna pay the up for that shoot. So how how that make y'all feel? I don't know. Well, Some I mean, people gonna cut out at that point. Yeah, I mean, for me, you know, I, I've been watching them. I had a feeling they was going this year, but I think the reason why we're not really talking about it is because it's so many Jordans that's sitting on shelves. So it's right. almost like, well, okay, you two hundred. I just wait till you go on sale. So a lot of them go down anyway to what one sixty. You catch them at the outlet for one thirty. So. I don't think that's why a lot of people are talking. And so we'll wait. Okay, that's a shoe that I really want. I just go ahead and pay the two hundred. Right. But that's 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 what we need to do anyway. Let them shoes sit 
You feel me? So the price can go down and they can give us reasonable prices because the prices get outrageous because we run and we go buy them. And I'm fault for that also because if it's a shoe that I really want, I'm going to grab it no matter what the price is. Yeah, that's they, they use a lot of kindness for a weakness, right? They bring it out the shoes. So they, okay, 200 there, maybe a shoe. The only one, of course, they would probably jack up the one, in my opinion, but because the technology there, they can't really justify that except for certain shoes. Like if they do a collab, right? Travis Scott, 175, All Star, yeah. 175. And they know you, you're going to yeah. pay that, right? Because it's, it's, right. it's the popular shoe. So, and, and you see, they jacking them up $15. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just to, just to see what we're going to do. Like you said, certain other shoes get hit with that 10, but them, them shoes they know we're going to get, they get jacked up $15 and $25, man. It's, it's, I mean, the, the hard part is we complain, but unless all of us stick together as a community, we all going to get hit in the head, or you going to have to take the chance of let it sit, or they going to start making this stuff limited GR, where it's like you're going to be in a either going to snooze, either going to jump, or you're going to lose out. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, Nike knows it's too much. It's basically the sneaker community, if you want to call it that. It's just competition. Yeah. Everybody got uh, I'm going to gonna tell you like this. Nike in the chat right now. You feel me? Just people <laughs> game and seeing what we talk about. But you oh, know, yeah. when, that competition, when that competition is on, they know it's competition. You know, who got to get the, the, the limited shoes? Who got the flex for IG? Who got to be the first on YouTube? So a lot of hype shoes would never sit. I'm going to tell you that right. now. They know we're going to go out and get them. But that's the other thing, too. That's why... Um, I and I do talk about the mids. Now that's where the mids come in there right now, because mids is right in that in that middle part. So you could so you look at this Jordan brand, 200, 220. But I got this middle here just as dope. And that's what 110, 120, sometimes maybe 130. You could be just as fly, but it just it's just the the mind state, right? To some people, like I don't wear this, but you can rock anything as long as you put the right fit with it. You can do well, something. Well, uh, hey, let me tell you this. Um it's some of these big YouTubers with influences, feel me? So when you hear them saying, man, I ain't rocking no mids, that's bullshit, that's bullshit. Like, I, I did the little video. Bro, it's only a $40 difference in an inch and a half apart. I'm going to keep it 1000 The mid got way better kind of way. Right. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I understand the OG feel that everybody want from back in the days. And I was trying to explain, like, if y'all want to keep it real, the, the, the um band one, when it first came out, looked like a boxing shoe. Right. It wasn't even that style right there. It was a boxing shoe style. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the, the OGs that they really want, they don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I never hear nobody say, well, I remember that shoe was shaped exactly like a boxing shoe. Because right. I tried to wear those in the ring. That's the only reason I can remember. I'm an old dude, so y'all don't, um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm an old one. But at the end of the day, though, you feel me? saying? It looked exactly like a boxing shoe. You couldn't you couldn't really tell the difference, but the jump man was on there. Right. And uh, uh, So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? If y'all really do want the OG feel, y'all need to go find those type shoes. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with the mids, man. The mids got some extraordinary colors, man. They shouldn't be doing that. Like when the um, greens come out, when the misty greens come out, everybody going to be back on the mids. You feel right. me? And that ain't that's bullshit. And them orange and black are things. Them shit's fine. Right. Now let's move to the elephant in the so, room. So they it, when it's suitable for them to um make some content, it's cool. Right. Now the but other than that, the me right, you know, we, we want to talk about is these Travis Scott ones, the shenanigans, the whatever you want to call about it, the Jordan brand. I ain't no mathematician, but let's talk about numbers. So now, so what we went from what thirty three thousand to what is that a hundred thousand, one hundred eight thousand? So what did that make our chances? When one percent to maybe two percent or three percent? What y'all think? Man, we still catching them L's, man. <laughs> That's what I said, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we gonna catch them L's, man. Ain't no more L's on them joints, man. Yeah. Um, did y'all see those Pikachu joints the guy wore at the um, premiere of the movie? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, they got some Pikachu Jordan ones. Check it out. The little dude that was in the movie wore them to the premiere of the movie. Right. It kind of look nice, man. I'm about to look into that. Definitely. Yeah, there's some 
Yeah, well, them Travis Scott ones, man. You know, they, what, the boutiques and what, foot action, that's it? Right. Sneakers out. Oh. I saw you already know them. Now, like, some tier zero, they're not even getting them. <laughs> McFly okay. said we got zero percent chance. He, he, he no, did. And then my whole thing is, is 108 the total production number? Like, I don't really think that number went up all of a sudden. You know what I'm saying? You got two numbers you worked in here. And they both had to come from somewhere. So either 38,000 has already been sold or 38,000 are left. You already had two drops. I don't think it's, it's like, I don't think there's 108,000 just sitting out there to be sold on Saturday. I just don't. I mean, it's like, I don't know. Like the shoe is a, they it is a limited shoe. I mean, even if it's 108 that's going to be sold on Saturday, that's still very limited. You got 50 yeah. whole states in the United States. <laughs> so <laughs> even if you, you know what I'm saying? Even if, a, you know, even if each state was getting it, you still, your chances are slim to none. You might as well try and hit the mega millions or something. Like, you got to <laughs> That's what that it's going to be like. <laughs> that's what it's going to be like. Because, boy, I think only maybe two. Boutiques in my own city getting them plus just the sneakers out. So, and you know, when you got the boutique connections, it, it, it's over. Right. And you know, you already got the people who each city got their famous people that's already, you know, tied in with those people. They're going to do what they need to do and, you know, get their pairs or whatever. So, yeah. and I mean, exactly how many pairs are they getting? They ain't getting like a full run size. It ain't like they got, you know, they're going to be skipping sizes. Think about the um, court purples. I can't remember what the numbers were on that, but every, everybody didn't get that. Right. So I don't know why you throw it out there and say 108, and then everybody feel a little bit more relaxed. Like, no, ah, stupid, don't feel relaxed. Don't feel relaxed. It's not a reason to be relaxed. <laughs> put, a, put, a, put them in the major stores. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a shot. Right. Dude, like, no you only locker. had three foot lockers in the whole country getting them. You only had three foot actions in the country getting them. Like, is Foot Locker's getting them? I think there's, yeah, Foot Locker got them too, but it's only three. It's the one in Chicago. Um, nope. Brooklyn. The one in Chicago. Chicago. Foot yeah, Action. On only Foot Action. Yeah, yeah I think Foot Action. I thought Foot Action, yeah. Oh, only you know Foot what? Action. I know what I was doing. I was doing the, whatchamacallit. I was on a twist. My bad. Yeah, only, only Foot Action. Only three Foot Actions getting them. Yeah, that was Brooklyn, I think LA, and Chicago. Chicago, yeah. Let's see. And then we got like we got some boutiques in Chicago that's getting them like three or four. I forgot the number. Hold on, let me look because I had screenshotted them. You're you're PM, you heard it? How many numbers of pairs they getting up there? No, I ain't heard nothing like that. I got a call measly. Hey family. Hey, so, so can I ask this? If certain boutiques getting them, and like you say, they only getting a certain amount of pairs, um, that means they're gonna hold them they sell. Oh, of course. Right. So they Store so employees. so they ain't even coming to the boutiques like for sure. Them shit's already sold. Yeah, like four spots. Foot action getting them. Um, RSVP getting them. Saint Alfred's getting them. No trade getting them. And Nike Lab Chicago. So we got Splash in the chat. McFly in the chat. What? Nike Lab. Uh, it's it's basically it's a big Nike store in the middle of downtown. Yeah. Yeah, so you already know those are back door, right, for the ones so that they buddies and whoever put her up, so you can scratch that. Yeah, like I already, I already know how um like RSVP and St. Alfred's and all them get down. I already know a lot of them gonna be back door, but they like because they got a whole bunch of stuff that's not selling, so they like okay, well this ain't sell out, this ain't sell out, so we gonna add an extra two three hundred dollars to the shoe, you know, and that's cheap actually if you think about what you're gonna pay for resale. So it's like. Oh, if you yeah. can get a Travis Scott one for five hundred dollars, I say get it. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. For sure. But That's if you want to put it on, though, man. You said what? I'm trying to get it to put it on. I ain't even playing games. I'm putting it on. I but mean, still, yeah, either way it goes, if you get it for five hundred dollars. That's cheap, especially if you're getting it right now before it come yeah, out. That's cheap. Yeah, that's true. Five hundred dollars, no stress. Yeah, the and the price is going down too. Like a thousand. The price is going down. I seen them at like like eight something, nine hundred something. What do y'all? I forgot about those unions, right? The SBs, those. I mean, not unions, but SBs too, right? They. Oh, uh, the they Jordan One SB. Yeah. 
the ones with the paint coming off. Yeah. The yeah. So what y'all yeah, think about that? Yeah, I don't see um, um, At the end of the day, if you could destroy your shoe and then it looks like a better shoe, come on, man. You can't beat that. I don't I care what two colors was on that. I think it's going to leave, like, dark paint behind. Like it, I don't think so. I just don't want to. If I want to Chicago and buy a Chicago, I want my shoe to stay this color. <laughs> <laughs> I'm irritated. Like, I want the shoe, but I want it to stay that color. I like it. Like I think it's like, especially for the skaters. You know how they be hitting their board and all that. There and they do yeah, these it's, stuff. It's like the it's like the Lands Mound ones. Yeah. yeah. So for them, it's just gonna uh, make another shoe. You feel what I'm saying? So the boys just keep skating in the shoe that they're comfortable with. If that shoe that they got on is comfortable. Yeah. But man, I checked in the pre order like six hundred dollars right now. Yeah, they look like they are asking for them on. <laughs> Six bones, bro. Six bills. For those, yeah. for the yeah. light bill, yeah. money. Yeah. Yep. So that means they're going to be limited then. I mean, anything early is worth money, though, so you can't really even count the early right. prices. True. Yeah, so, well... So, uh, shout out to the ladies, right? Because this is like going to be the month for the ladies for all the costs, right? You got the Panda one. I'm trying to copy the Reptile Twin. Uh, I'm trying to don't copy them. Come with <laughs> Always have you. <laughs> so three one three, you can't complain this month. Y'all got all the heat coming for y'all this month. Uh, I don't think I want them to do Panda ones though. Now that I, I, I've been seeing some stuff, I don't think I want them though. Well, nah, I'm gonna pay them. This what you do. When they gonna get shipped to my house, I'm gonna have to ship them to the team. Huh? I said they gonna get shipped to my house, then I'm gonna have to ship them to you. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I pay for that shipping too. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah, the Panda one, that straight reseller. Y'all can say what y'all want. I'm going to resell the hell out of that shoe if I get it. So I can get the six, I mean the 12s at the end of the month. Them, uh, them Reptile 12s? Yep. Blech. <laughs> I got a feeling that leather going to be so stiff on them 12s. I don't like that shoe. I mean, that it's the, it's the white sole. Like, I just... Yeah, it's gonna get dirty. That's a wrap. It drives me nuts. But my whole thing is like, what's these? You gotta get that um that nail that polish remover straight. popping. Damn, that came off. My shoe dirty as hell. I need to clean this. Yeah, shame on you. I know, right? <laughs> get away. But hey, OG, I saw that vlog, man. Them troops, man. I was like, man, I should I should have hit him up. What was the damage for those? Let me see. Oh, I think to my uh, when I was out at Burlington. Yeah, Burlington. Oh, shit, I think it was like twenty four. Hey, yeah, I was shocked to see him. That's the first time I seen him in there. I was like, wow. Hey, we I was thinking be about uh, black ass African. No <laughs> truth, man. That was before PM time. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, about when, I, hey. when, when the panda ones come out and my lady get them things, I'm gonna go ahead and have to put the mids on. You feel me? So I can kind of go ahead and kind of rock it and match it. Oh yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure. We gotta get we gotta get PM a pair of troops, man. PM probably be like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know about the troops, man. No, nah, yeah, my was... brother, my brother told me something about him like some years ago. I ain't paying no man, and I like hey. started seeing them pop up. They got the troops now, they got the Deodoras back. Come on, man. Them boys don't know about them Deodoras. I got oh, I got God. I got Deodoras in here. I got the Transformer oh. ones. They did a collab. Yeah, you got that's the, what I'm talking about. You got the elite coming back, and then yeah, and then British knights and all that stuff. My brother was like, "Man, all yeah. this gonna come back in style." Yeah, uh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I still wear clocks and stuff like that. I don't put them on my page because I don't think these um, sneakerheads be rocking no clocks. Yeah, <laughs> three tons, <laughs> all that stuff from back in the yeah. day. Yeah, them troops though, man, for sure, bro. Especially if you could get that leather. They had some great leather on them things with the Mitch Mac colors, oh, like. Yeah. Um, um, uh, e, you know what I'm talking about? How the, oh, yeah. um, all these multicolor shoes look like now. The troops been doing that. Yep, been doing it way yeah. back, then. way back in the days. And they got that five level. Hey, what's the retail on the reptile? One. Excuse me. 
190. Yeah, 190. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, <laughs> hey lady, that's equal rights. That's equal rights. They gotta pay. They gotta pay like we do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But you know, like they only like $30 over retail right now on StockX. Yeah, see, well, you can get them early. Who? E, <laughs> e, e money. E money can get them early. Oh. Nah, bro. You That's know, cool. I'm going to get my right discount. I, ain't that, like I don't care right about here. the real review. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get that discount, man. <laughs> discount, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. Take that money and carry it to the next, whatever else coming out next month. Yeah. Is it supposed to be this shiny though? Well, you, you already know. Can't the, the people just give us a general idea? You gotta wait till you get it in hand. So what? So what y'all looking for next, Cabo G? I know you probably standing pat right for a minute. Yeah. Um. I thought about those SB ones or those Ray Allen. Supposed to be the buck seven or something coming out, right? Um, yeah, it's probably be them too. But I was yeah. looking at the SB, but I don't know. Y'all talking about that paint rubbing off, right? Nah, uh, that's what the shoe's supposed to do, though. I think it's kind of fire. I feel it's yeah, disrespectful. Right. I don't give a god done. That's right. just disrespectful. <laughs> My Lakers you know, rubbing off into uh, the pool. <laughs> yeah, easy. I was going out there for the Lakers colorway. Yeah, I was like, what the hell is that all about? That's traumatizing. <laughs> well, we got we got Bobby, to say Bobby, Bobby, Mr. Bobby, Bobby B in the in the chat and not Tito McFly and Smash I'm Drippy in the chat. Shout out to y'all. Um shout out I, to the chat. Yeah, I had to say shout out to PM too, because he uh stopped me from getting Fugazi this week. <laughs> He's the guy I ain't I, I got Adidas, but I ain't got that many Adidas. I asked him about some NMD, and he told me, he said, what is that? And then when I pulled up the picture from Thing and compared it, I told the guy, I said, it's missing some colors. He didn't even argue. I said, okay, yeah, they fugazi. <laughs> I had to walk Yeah, that's how they look, they look funny. I'm like, they darker. Yep, and then when I compared it, it was missing some. But somebody bought it, so hey, that's good for him. <laughs> somebody bought it, just wasn't me. So that's the thing. I mean, that's what that's what's good about the community. That's why I was saying that was good about the fours. I mean, you see everybody collab. You know, I got this side. I missed out on this side. It was good. Everybody was trying to throw everybody a bone. So that was real good. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I was hoping somebody would go get the fours that I had. Uh, I was like, I was at um picking my fours up from Foot Action. I'm like, man, I got some over here. Foot locker and y'all drive over here. Just give me them points. Y'all can have a shoe. I don't even yes. want the shoe. I don't want no extra money. Just let me scan yeah. my points and y'all can have the shoe. That's a real nigga that's shit right there. I yeah, did that last time. Doing, I did that for the um for the Concord Eleven. I hit like I hit like three or four pairs of the Concords. Yeah, I, I I did that for them Turbo Green. I got a couple of them things too. Yeah, I'm like, man, here he I say some dude he had to wait till like three o'clock. It's like twelve, like it was like twelve o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, here man, you can come get these over here. He like, how much you want for? I said retail, just let me get the points. He oh, all sure. good looking, bro. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, it's all good. Yeah. Well, just like uh, I am that dude was saying too, for most shoes though, it's kind of like a hit and miss, because I know they get mad when you bring the shoe back, but you can always just keep that receipt and take it back. You just like ah, you rush, and then you see ah, oh, it's gonna sit, and then you just go take that sucker back. Screw it. They, they be looking at the side eye, the salesman like mad and lost money, but they is your money at the end of the day. So, yeah. Shit, I'm taking yeah. the receipt too, so you can't take them fuckers back. You ain't getting my points <laughs> off my card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, man, I just, I ain't even think about them Travis Scotts, man. I would have been started racking up my Foot Action account. And that's why I just got my fours from Foot Action. I'm like, man, I know them Travis Scotts coming out. Let me go ahead and give me some points on my on my yeah, Foot Action app. Ah, oh, man, I ain't even. I wasn't even thinking about that. Like the last couple review, I mean, little um, cops idea. I'm like, dang, because Foot Locker is so close to me. Foot action, I gotta drive a little minute to get there. 
Uh oh. Uh, here, here goes um three one three language. Splash so say he need the three M sixes. <laughs> <laughs> The three on uh I don't know why. Anybody on the that reflective pack or y'all passing? Pass. Great this pass. is nice. It's okay, nice. so you passing? Nice. It's nice. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself. Right, because I'm about to be like, look, I'm gonna go after the sixes. I'm gonna Drew go after sevens, and somebody else will go after the eights and my side six. All right. <laughs> I think the eighth is probably the best one for me, but I ain't going after none of them. I'm passing all of them. Mm -mm. No, nah, that ain't bad. I like it. I like the sixes. I like all of them, but you know that's because they three M. <laughs> I don't like sixes and sevens like that anyway. I don't uh, not even like them Olympic good. sixes. Yeah, see, look, it's certain ones. It's certain ones that I like. It's certain okay. ones that I like. Like the sixes that, that look like the Carmines and like the Gatorades, they're my fire. Like the ones with the new buck and the leather combination, they're my fire. See, them and the then there's some like of them. And there's some of them like the, the Olympics with, you talk about the blue with the white on it? The, the Like the navy blue? Yeah, them on fire. Like I like that little color scheme, but some of them, like them diffuse the blues, that was just all blue. That was terrible. Oh yeah, I ain't like those. But like I like and, and the, then, um, the UNC sixes. I like those. Yeah. Hey, but um, the UNC. Yeah, I like them too because they remind me of the infra, the infrared <laughs> sixes, just the blue in yeah. them. So I like that too. Yeah. It's right. certain, it's like certain colorways, but I, I'm just not gonna just go and cop sixes or us sevens. Like it's certain mm -hmm. colorways that I, I like. White in it for me. Yes, I said it. That is not my favorite <laughs> pick. I, it's just so much white in that shit would drive me nuts. Like, I only got like three pair of sixes. Six is just not on my to get list. I might have like five or six. Yeah, see, sixes don't be doing good. I, mean, I only got one, so I can't too much talk. See? <laughs> but, but I do think I need the Cardinal 7 now. But I'm all over the place, though. You feel what I'm saying? I just don't cop J's. Like, I'm everything, man. Got my new energy drink over here. About to get crunk. This video is sponsored. This live is sponsored by, what is that, Rain? What is that? Rain. <laughs> yeah, cool, right? Rain. <laughs> I'm hoping Joe and Brand bring back them Flint 13 this year. I know. They're teasing us for some reason. Something going on with that. We might have to boycott, but I know that ain't happening. That's wishful thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you said for what? what you? Flint 13. Oh, I got mine. I got my 2012, huh? Is it 2012? No. Mine, like 2011. The one I got, I ain't got the 3M on it. Yeah, I got that one too. I got that one too. Yeah, I need the 3M. I had the 3M. Like, like when I was a kid, I messed them up for like three days. My mom was like, You still going to school in them shoes? <laughs> Suffer. Man, I was terrible. I swear, I was terrible in them shoes. So, well, at least we know when the bread four, I mean, bread 11 drop, everybody should get it, right? If you do what you need to do, you should be good with that. Yeah, take, man, so I can beat my 2012 yeah. pair. But at, but at the end of the day, they should just keep it real, make enough, because everybody wants the shoe. You know what they I'm is. saying? They're going to do like the concourse. They're going to do like the concourse. Okay. They said like $2 million. Like, they made, okay. they made more than they made at the concourse. Yeah. So yeah. If you yeah, don't get here, they're going to make more. They now, made if you don't get these, like. thousand more pairs. If you didn't, like, I, I feel like if you didn't get the concourse, you didn't want them. You didn't right? want them. No, I didn't want them. I ain't want them. If you don't get yeah, these breads, you didn't want them. I can review my shorty concourse. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. See? Two million pairs, there's no way you couldn't get them. Man, they're going to be giving them out for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Well, you figure out, you think the bread, they're going to probably drop right, right after uh, Black Friday. You probably start seeing your first couple pairs, shock drops, all the way up to the release oh, yeah. day. Yeah. Now, nah, you know, before the shock drop, you know when they're going to do the shock drop because Tony D them get it first. They're going to get it first so they can promote it. And then right. they're going to do the shock drop like a week or two after that. Yeah, that's into the Tony D and probably Mike Rich might get one from Chance. 
Bull, everybody that's up there, Bull, Tony, Mike, Kais, all of them going to get the early pairs for the promo to get everybody hyped about them. Then they're going to do the shock drop. Yeah. What are they supposed to release? What, what so, day is it? All right, let me ask you, can I ask you this? All right, because I see Tony keep it real sometimes. I ain't going to even flex. But most people don't. You think they got to be um, keep it, um, say what they have to say because they're getting this shit for free? Or you think they be keeping it real? Sometimes Tony do keep it real. Well, I think I think they, like, for the most part, they don't even, I think when they get um sent free shoes like that, I don't think they get paid. It's just for promotional use. So it's basically them telling how they really feel about the shoe. Now, some of them might sugarcoat it so they can keep getting sent more shoes. I don't really know, but for the most part, like, I think Tony and Bull be keeping stuff 100. And Mike Ridge, though. I think they all be keeping yeah, stuff 100. Because yeah, they, they be, they be telling you. Yeah. I think I think you can kind of don't own the shoe, but be slick, if that makes sense. Like, you can yeah. put the obvious, obvious flaw, but not dog it out to where they can say, oh, he talking crap about this. You just bought okay, we well, had glue stains or whatever. We had you not say the shoe was complete trash. Yeah. But somehow be complete trash. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you just, I guess I guess in that aspect, you got to look at it from a business standpoint, right? Like PM was saying, do you want to shoot yourself in the foot and be just like this shoe is garbage, or you want to just kind of like, okay, they I right. buy at your own risk. I Man, I don't like the way my foils came out. I should have doubled up so I can decide which one I wanted to keep. Yeah. My foils came like my foils ain't like one hundred. Like it ain't no glue stain, but like I don't like the way my back tab on my foils look. Look crazy. But yeah, yeah. yeah Mister, I don't know if you saw the earlier talk. We were talking about is it a good practice to wait on the restock? Because a lot of people are like, oh, it's enough stuff. It's gonna sit. If I don't get it, I wait on them to restock. You all, because people always think every drop that is a guaranteed restock. And I was like, that's. I think that's a bad practice. Yeah, it is. That's a that's a terrible practice. Everything, but everything has been restocking. But if it sell out, the restock is going to be even hype, more hype than the actual shoe driver. Right. Because I was like, you should get the shoe at the peak when it's more available. Because now you got everybody who can look at the shoe. You can say, okay, the pros and cons. Or like you said, if you got a bad pair, now you might want to go get another pair. And then you can dump that pair and give it to stock X or something. So you got less chance of getting it on the restock. Yeah, that, it depends on too when the restock happens. A lot of right. times people be at work. <laughs> like, damn, I mean, all the time I be at work. Right. Yeah, like all I say, if you time. if you if you had to have the shoe, go ahead and get on release date. But if you don't have to have it, hey, and you go you can wait, hey, just wait it out. Like, like, it ain't really been that much stuff dropping though, honestly, to be like really copping. Right. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. another good thing is for is like if you if you if you budgeting right, and you know the shoe you won't coming out, and you got you know everybody you know shit life happens. Go ahead and just plan for that shoe. He, right. Like I said, we get reviews. We just telling y'all what's out there. We ain't saying go buy it. But if you know like before, your money gonna be tight. Then you should just go ahead and just say, okay, I'm, I'm my money on the side for these four. The hell with everything else. Yeah. I catch it on the back burner. Right. Get right. Four. Yeah. Yeah, kiss it out, yeah. Hey, shout out to TJ. Y'all go buy a book. She'll let you know what's going on. Well, you ain't got to buy it. It's free. Go yeah, read the book. The free. You know oh, yeah. what I'm it's she free, get, yeah. Yeah, she get a good deal. Yeah, we you know how to uh, manage that money. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah, just like everybody know, in December, the 11th is coming out. So you if you know your money tight, you should you could be putting back what 25, 30 bucks right now. A little bit Wait. of the time. Every uh, week. <laughs> yep. Every week and just stop that shit. And let them. And so don't go ahead it. and get it right. Don't touch it. You're absolutely correct. But you know, I mean, yeah, of course life happens, stuff happens, but just forward thinking, that's how you gotta move nowadays. Cause it's gonna be George, you know him. He he ended to make the money, so we just got to be smart. He's just said and done, though, know, because I, I know I'm the last person because I go out and do something impulsively, and I sit there and look at the shoe and I'm like, did I really need this shoe? And now you're feeling all bad. 
And you just look, at the end of the day, well, check this out. At the end of the day, if you um pay yourself as an employee, as in I'm talking about you go to work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta come home, you gotta pay rent, you got groceries, you got all that stuff, but you haven't paid yourself. It doesn't matter what you pay yourself. Pay yourself something every time you get a check. Put that under the bed. That's for you to do your impulse buying. You understand what I'm saying? Then it won't be a loss. Right. That's for sure. You got to take care of yourself, too. Just not go to work to pay your bills and take care of the kids. Nah, bro. You got to look out for yourself, too, because you the one. You the machine that's moving. Yep. Right. That's so pay yourself. Sure. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if it's $25, like you said. $25 a paycheck, that's go under the bed. That's for your little stuff to buy in there and your little shoes and shit like that. It won't be so hard when it's time to pay that. Like, it was that, that tab time around here and everybody going to buy them shoes. Guarantee you that review happen and then it's going back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you can buy the shoe and sell it, resell it, right? Make you a couple dollars out there, depending on where you at, though. I know some places are taxes high as hell, so you probably the break man ain't waiting for that. Break break man ain't waiting for in Chicago. <laughs> How much tax in Chicago? Man, 190 shoe be like 210. God dang. Ooh, boy. That's deep. How much is that? Like twelve percent, ten percent? Yeah, like something like that. It'd be like I think like I think it's like ten to twelve, something like that. Yeah. Good grief. Hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. How much tax in Georgia, OG? Um, city to city is like probably like further out might be eight percent, closer oh. to the city get gets high. Like, that. like Jordan, they came out this weekend two. Plus tax came to like two sixteen. Okay, that ain't too too bad. Yeah, Lord, I think we like. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel got that fake. Why y'all got? Well, y'all ain't got tax up there. Yeah, we got tax, but it's I mean, like that's different. Like city to city, it changed. Ours the same all state. It's I mean, you know, all around the state, it's just six percent. Man, we get taxed for everything. They like, yeah, you want a bag? Okay, foot like a bag. Mm, tax you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's it is. It's either you walk out with the box in your hand or you get charged like an extra couple dollars for a bag, like an extra dollar or something. Yeah, they, we got bag tax. Oh, yeah. oh we got that. Like old bag. Cent now for a bag now. Yeah, we got wow. that. Mm -hmm. And they tax the bag. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. They, yeah, they include that in, into the total. Yeah, you're right. Man. Yeah. It's oh, real. Yeah. That's mostly for the tourists, though. We get so much tourists over here. They don't care. They got to put the, the stuff in something, so. Uh, going there, going in Foot Locker with all these bags. Like, uh-huh, just throw the shoe in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yep. I don't even give me the, I only need the box. I just get the shoes in the rack. <laughs> <laughs> the hell with the box. Right. Buy your drop. <laughs> Keep it the moving. Hey, hey Vanity, Vanity said, where your head at? Yeah, I know. I said, not today, man. It's too hot. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> too hot. How many of y'all going to sneaker con Dallas, man? Look like it's about to be lit up and now. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, man. I don't know when is it. Uh, it's the 29th and the 30th of June. Oh, uh, this month, June. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've been I've been seeing a lot of people been talking about that. I'm gonna hit up. I'm gonna hit up um me and my kicks and see see what's going on. See what he's doing. I'm going. I guess today is what Cinco de Mayo day. Am I day ahead or day late? No, nah, it's today. No, nah, it's today. Yeah, they got block parties over here. It's kind of crazy to be trying to go. Oh, uh, yeah. You just remind me. I'm finna go get my tequila. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Where your hey. sombrero at, man? I had, I had my corn in the cup earlier. <laughs> I need his, his sombrero. Oh, who have you with a sombrero? I can't even pronounce it now. I ain't got nothing in my cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I think laughs> cup, too. Might as well. I ain't going nowhere, man. I know it's crazy out there. Cinco de my people be celebrating holidays. Don't even know what it's for. There's going to be a lot of African Americans, Mexicans. Oh yeah, in the ATL, but they take over those Mexican spots. Man, I'm not going nowhere near Mexican town right now. If I do anything, I may have to catch the bus down and let them do all that and catch the bus back. They be quick to pull you over for a DUI around here. Right, be over there with the lift, like lift. Yep, lift me. That's for sure. 
So that should be lit then and everybody go down that way. So yeah, anything okay. good at the current events that isn't hot going on about in the world, right? Um not really, besides Curry missing that dunk. I know Curry <laughs> was terrible yesterday. I don't man. know why he even tried to do that. And it was it was like too far of a jump for him. Yeah, um <laughs> he was yeah. terrible. You know, he's in yeah, the like, <laughs> walking. <laughs> He can't jump over a Funko Pop box. I don't know why he tried that. Oh, man. I don't know why he tried that. That was he the best remember. shooter. But yeah, he can't even shoot a simple layup, though. He can hit all those three-pointers and can't shoot a layup. That's, that's crazy. I don't know. I don't know why he tried that. My question is, is where would they be without Kevin Durant right now? Yep. I wonder how they would Honestly... Look. Honestly, I think they plan the way they are because of Kevin Durant. Because you think about it, a couple years ago, they made it without Kevin Durant. Yeah, but they missing a lot of their bench, too, though. That's the problem. Yeah, no they, they like a lot of their bench players wanted more money, I guess, so they just shipped them out. Like, we'll get some more younger people, you know, pay them less, and we're going to pay y'all more. Right, and that's so the they problem. Bench- they bench is lacking. Like you can't really take um, KD. You can't take the starting five out without two of them. Got to stay in at all right. times. Like before, right? They had David West and all them other jokers. Yeah, what they had a nice little little um little backup lineup, and now they don't really he, have that many people. That's why you got yeah. Kevin Durant them playing forty some minutes. Yeah, because what was that other guy? He was there before he finally got in. Marine David. Now you had David West. And you had that other guy that was there. I can't remember his name. Uh, David Lee? Yeah, David Lee. Yeah, him. He was there. You had Swaggy P. You had McGee. You had all yeah. them guys. Yeah, you had you had some nice people that can, like, come through and, like, basically keep the other team at bay, yeah. score a couple points, but keep them at bay. Right. Or one of the people on the bench might get hot. Even Dang, better for them. Yeah. Though. Especially with Cousins got hurt. That really messed them up. Yeah, man, cuz oh man, he about to just breeze his way through to a ring. <laughs> if everything go, I know he praying on it. If everything go well, he gonna breeze his way to a ring. That's for sure. Shoot, I want. I should. I went. To, I meant to go. They had like I think Tiger was over here yesterday. Him and Janae Akaiko, or well, Key, whatever her name. But it's supposed to rain, and then they had a monster truck. Some crap. I don't know. They always got something going on. So so this week, so we're looking at Panda 1, Travis Scott L's. <laughs> <laughs> I said my only hope was the ATL. So unless I asked my sister to go check out that wish place, I know that's probably going to be nuts. That's close by you, OG? Yeah, yeah. Straight L's, man. They Resellers got that locked down, man. Okay, well, okay, scratch that off the list. Right now, uh, I haven't really heard anything. Normally, they'll just put uh, do the raffle online, so you know that's automatically. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, most of, most of the people there, yeah, they they got those you know, boutique connections. They they really there's only like two in the city that's gonna get them. So, and like you said, you don't know how many pairs they gonna get. Yeah, it yeah just, some of them be like a lot of them be getting like two per size or something. Yeah, so you feed that hundred and eight thousand only benefits the people that may be in that state. Other than that, everybody else is taking an L. Because if you win that shoe, say you in Hawaii, you win that shoe in Chicago, and you didn't just lost all the way around now. But you what the shoe is what 175, 200. The plane ticket is about five, six hundred. So shh, forget <laughs> it. <laughs> forget uh-huh. it. Not worth it. Hey, well, hey, don't look at it like that. Look at it like a vacation and you got the shoe for retail. I don't know. How you can- going right back after you get the shoe? <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Or if you if, see, but then if you take the vacation, you really hurt because you're going to need to sell that shoe to break even. Right. <laughs> Hopefully you break even. But if you got the, all like the flights in and... Out, Cause I can say, drive I'm in two hours and drive back the same day. Oh, see, so yeah, see, so y'all at the yeah, see, she she good. She can drive. 
Right. That's like that's a work day, eight hours. It well, since we just, since come back. Since what we come from to Detroit? Detroit? Huh? Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You right there and back, eight hours, yeah. 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 Well, since we're thinking about a master plan, since you're willing to drive, well, let me go ahead and put that address for Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, why not? What else I gotta do? Cash, cash out for the gas money. <laughs> <laughs> True. And hook yeah. it up. I hope some raffles pop up online, man. I thought I just won those waffle things, man. They said, oh, uh, they just sent me a confirmation that my raffle thing has been entered. So I'm like, okay. Let me. Yeah. What what? You know those waffle, um, the Nikes. The so ones with the double swoosh. Oh yeah, so they ain't got the sneakers and stuff. Then on uh, Travis Scott. Yeah, you know, you just gotta put those overseas raffles in. Yeah. Put a lot of those in. Whatever raffle, yeah. Whatever raffle on Soul Links, I just put. I just add in all of them. Like, hey, if I hit multiple pairs, I hit multiple pairs. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> The more to marry, the more chances to marry, you know. I'm going to go, you know, I ain't, you ain't going to beat the resellers. They're going to be out of line two days early. Oh, yeah. That's why I said it's better to just make friends when you get a better chance because they're not only they ain't solo. They got the whole family in on the fix. So unless you got your whole family, aunties, uncles, and cousins, forget it. It's a wrap. That's the thing, though, to even make friends with the boutique people out here, they be like, Oh, you would go to RSVP and they'd be like, "Yeah, you know, spend six hundred dollars and and you get a you get an automatic shoe." Hey, and then six hundred dollars in there, it'd be like two things. They they sell like off white and like all the high end, like like not a lot of high end stuff, but they sell a lot of high end stuff though. Like, so you would go in there about like two things. They'd be like six hundred dollars, then they'd be like, "Ah, right, you know, boom, what size you need." Like they be doing stuff like that, or you could just go in like, how much you charging for the um, for the um Travis Scotts? They'll look at market. They ain't gonna charge you market because you know they win it either way it go. They'll charge you like a hundred or two below or something. Right. So what y'all think? Sometimes they'll charge you market. You going after the Mars boot overshoe? What y'all think about that? Uh, no. Uh, I think it's trash, but the resale <laughs> might be good. <laughs> I think the retail on that shoe like four or five hundred dollars, ain't it? Yep. But you'll be unique though if you, if you grab that shoe. You'll probably be hot though. Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna be the summertime. Where you gonna wear it to? Right. The I beach. I understand that. Like, why is everybody going after this boot this summer? You gonna wear it to the beach? Right. Yeah. I saw the homie on Vanity Kick sneaker kind of thing. What's his name? That dude had it all right. The overshoe. Dude had it in sneaker con um Cleveland. The guy from um. The complex thing. Yeah, yeah, him. He had them all. Like, dang. He was yeah. walking around with them in on the end. Like he had, but he ain't had like the boot, the cover thing up. He just had it like flattened out and all that stuff. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I miss right here. I had to wear that to the, the Huntsville Space Center and when I go back to Alabama. It <laughs> looks like a grocery bag on a shoe. <laughs> Pretty much. 450. God done, that's a lot. Forfeit. Yeah, because if they don't put the price up like that, they're going to sit if it costs um 120 It's sick. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because right, like, people are materialistic and they know it. So it's like, hey, you got to put it at a price point that everybody ain't going to buy it so it can yeah. sell out. <laughs> you feel me? That is a, I ain't going to lie. That would be a straight hype beast cop right there. The resale, I mean, before the resale only was like a thousand dollars or something like like eleven, like twelve or something like that. I don't know what it's going for now. I ain't really like paid attention to it. Yeah, I seen it popped up on stock X. That's crazy. Okay, but I about I'm about to say talk about Yeezy, but I know it's probably only like two of us that wear Yeezy. And I'm not one of them. Yeah, I don't do that right now, too. That's one of them crazy ass shoes, too. Well, that, that new one coming out, I guess, is the clay or something like that with them, uh, that, that glow in the dark. One. Yeah, the GID. That, yeah, that, be, that might be nice if you somewhere smooth and you got on a nice little fit that'll kill it. But other than that, I'm straight. 
I know PM, you're not going after that one. What the GIDs, the Yeezys, which is them the black ones? Yeah, the glow in the dark, the green ones. Oh no, I got my Yeebas, I got one of them. What I gotta, I'll probably try to get those and the triple black if I can. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking for the black ones. Uh, I got they look just like the Yeebas without the stripes. Put the strikes on the Yeebus on that and, and then make then make the bottom of it glow. And you're gonna hide them. But, yeah, you got the you got the you got the Yeebus on here is on the right. Yeah, I had the zebras, I dumped them. I only got the um I got the frozens. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The semi-frozen ones, the yellow ones. Oh yeah, you're right. It's pretty similar. Right? I gotta just swap out the souls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same thing. It's the exact same shoe without the stripes on it. Like I'm not gonna pay for the exact same shoe just to make it glow. I don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> go to the go up to the roller rink with your gl the shoes glowing. Yeah, I mean, that's man. I don't care about that. I'll get some glow in the dark spray. <laughs> Put it on the bottom of my shoe. I want the all black ones and probably all the all black 350s and the 700. But they got two pairs of 350s. They got the all reflective one, like the statics, and then they got the regular plain one. I still got to get the statics, though. I take the non-static. Vegas can't be choosy. The non-statics look way better than the statics, though, like the reflective ones. It's just my dumb self. I forgot I supposed to win a half size up and got mine. It was too small, and I couldn't size swap it. I was all I'm soft. Weird. You got to take that soul out. <clears throat> yep. That don't always work. But I'd rather you have... You know what's crazy? The reflective statics was actually sitting on... Online before they actually sold up. Dang, that's crazy. That's crazy within itself. Nah, at least everybody could got them. At least the people who wanted them got them. That's true. I seen one person posted. He said, "Yeah, we got his four. He called it the fours from right." He said, "The black metallic fives, the threes, the sixes, and the fours. So he said, "He good now." I'm mad. I ain't getting no more pairs of them. Uh them seven them v2 statics the first ones man right. <laughs> if i knew them joints was gonna go up like they did out of grab me a couple pills oh what they doing numbers now they like six something yeah we're gonna get we're gonna get 313 to cross over to the adidas she's gonna get at least one pal of what <laughs> yeah i'm about to go pick up my top tens probably next week oh boy that's about it. And she don't like the Adidas. Send a pair of NMD. Now nah, that really feels NMD. They all right. They, they the look for real the ones. Because the NMDs, right level. I guess if, on the blue side, the NMD probably got to be at the bottom. I guess they all right. Then you move up to Ultra Boost and all of that. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, see, I'm over here quiet. I'm on StockX looking. Right. <laughs> She's on StockX. Yeah. All I wanted to get my walk the dog so I can stop waiting from StockX. I That's can't actually, swim, but I could have swim them over here faster than this by now. Look. <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> looking okay. at the prices on them. I ain't going to say anything because this is a family show. <laughs> <laughs> the price went up on them. I'm glad I got mine when I did. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, the price went up on my size. I'm trying to work this deal with this guy. He got these Chinese New Year 12. He got the receipt. The one the um the one that teased us this look like the playoffs. Oh. Yeah. I need to take a chill pill. All these got none shoes. Know where to go. Cause at a point, so 
what what is too many DSUs? What do y'all what is a good round number? Or is there any actual any number to have too many DSUs? Man, don't ask me. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got that problem <laughs> too, man. Don't I'll, ask me. I'll, be, I'll be putting something to the ground though. I've been putting something to the ground lately. So yeah, cool. yeah. I've been me too. Me too. I've been undesing some shoes. You know, I've been working on it, but like it's hard yeah. to undes shoes when you don't really like if you just go to work and come home and you be like, man, I need an event. So I can bring some stuff out. I'm not finna un DS some shoes to go to the store. <laughs> nah, fuck no. I did. I undiased the pair. Of, uh, was that today? Did I go to the mall? Oh no, that was what Saturday, yesterday. I undiased the pair to go to the mall. How old was the shoe? <laughs> was the, they wasn't old. They was the um blue chills. Okay. Yeah, I'm finna undiased some shoes. I'm finna make a video first, and then I'm finna put them babies to the ground. <laughs> them, them human race, them human race, the multicolors I had posted on my Instagram. That was my first time wearing them. Them came out last year. Uh -huh. But it was a summer shoe, though. See, they came out later last year. So I'm like, a lot of shoes I really can't bring out until the summer. Right. Or it's got, or it's got to be circumstance, right, to bring out a shoe to undo right. the shoe. Yeah. But like, I get a lot of shoes that's like colorful. Like, I like colorful shoes and stuff. So I really like a lot of my shoes are summer. If it's like when it's raining here all the time, I don't want to bring out certain shoes. Yeah, I got I got all bum shoes on. Like, so what you think? What you think, OG? You got any particular number you want to keep your yours at, or you just it's all feel? It's all feel, man. When I it just sometimes I go in, I look at them. I'm like, nah, not today. <laughs> I don't I, know I what the red things is on top of OG head on the right. Oh, all the way at the top. Yeah, oh, what the minute? Them my son IEs. Oh yeah, the eleven low IE. Yeah, my sons. Yeah. Eleven low IE. See what that? The fire. Yeah, those are those are dope too, especially on the bottom of it. So that's the yeah. one that's yeah. irritated. <laughs> oh yeah, most most of my probably undid some stuff this summertime though. That's that's really what I'm waiting on too this summer. Yeah. We'll see them around the holiday. Oh, that's when the barbecues and stuff start coming through. You want to come to the right. barbecue? Oh, I see you, right. cousin, yeah. with the things <laughs> on your feet. I see you. Yeah. Every Sunday. <laughs> Man, every Sunday barbecue with macaroni and cheese, collard greens. We're gonna play over there. <laughs> it was no, hard for me as a shorty, bro. I'm gonna put it in my kids' life, man. Everybody be looking at your feet. Yeah, yeah. you walk through that grass all flat footed, so you don't be messing up nothing. <laughs> Yo, I see you, boy. I know, I know them boys, friends. I can tell by where you walking. You can hey, I see y'all right, using that rejuvenator. I got that soul sump, that uh, whatever that shit called. That shit work, man. Don't mess up your shoes or none of that stuff, man. Right? That's crazy. But like you, like you said, especially the shoe you got a white milky body. Like man, that's the thing. You like you better. It better be a hell of an occasion. You break them oh, like man. Y'all know it's a wrap once you wear them shoes. Mm -hmm. Do you gotta watch out for dog poop and all type of stuff while you <laughs> hey, I ain't going outside with no white milky bottle. That's an indoor event there. He's an indoor. He's an indoor event, man. Especially with them, um, um, G the lows and 11 lows I bought. I'm like, nah, that's an indoor. So they get an indoor event. That's where they go. Hey, I still ain't wore my G the 11 lows. He said, Matter of fact, had them suckers in hand and put them on once you get inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, your flops hey, to the door. Yeah. What you talking about? <laughs> I like my socks fly, too, so I'm coming, guy. Yeah, you got to have on the sandals with no uh, socks till we get up in there. Then we put it on everything. <laughs> my sock game decent. Right, because y'all want that on your sock going on the inside. Nah, <laughs> new shoe. nah, nah. That's me. Uh, <laughs> uh, nah, when I, buy, when I buy me a pair of shoes, I stuff a new pair of socks in the shoe early. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff people don't know, right? You want you want to match the outfit with the stuff, but you gotta worry yeah. about the, the white cushion in this in the thing. You wear a dark pal or shoe, next thing you got dark cotton balls sitting inside right. of your, your white. <laughs> now you gotta go <laughs> out of there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I be seeing them getting the little shoes and they don't even try to clean the inside of them for you. You feel me? Oh, 
Right. You got all your sock, all your black sock in the red. <laughs> yeah, so you got to get them no shows, man. He's like, man, the white, the, it don't go with the outfit, but man, you take them black socks off, you got all types of done cotton balls inside that white. Yeah, that ain't no lie. <laughs> And I and I ain't really pay attention to that until maybe like within the last year because I think I was watching Jumpman wow. Bostic and he was showing where you use the razor or whatever right and go in there and get all of that stuff out to clean it up a little bit. I was like, dang, that's my problem trying to match it up too much. But it's all good though. Yeah, it's all good. They do that so you can come. They have to put little flaws in there so that you can destroy. So you can go ahead and buy another one if you like it. You're going to continue buying the same shoe. Right. No matter what. It don't matter what the shoe is. Yeah. Well, so now I think back in hindsight, now maybe I should have bought two pairs of bread for us because a lot of people just bought, you figure they go with everything mostly, right? So you're going to beat one pair up. You put one on ice, but I don't want to, I don't really like to wear shoes and look like everybody else, though, because you already know everybody and their mama going to be having them on for the That's next That's why I ain't pulled my concords out when I got them. Like the first <laughs> night, the first day I got them, I went to, uh, it was something happened. Um, Like this clothing brand, like this Chicago based clothing brand, had like a little, little pop up shop slash little party thing going on. So I went there. Only thing I seen was concords. I'm like, woo. <laughs> I'm glad I can wear mine. I'm yeah. like, man, I'm gonna let y'all bust them boys up. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'll see y'all next year <laughs> with oh, yeah. the fresh that's, ice that's, and care. That's what you that's gotta do, man. Almost anything big GR, you gotta wait almost a year. Yeah. Uh-huh. You this one up. I'm I got some um some um Air Force One low pivot uh with the five stars in the back and the 72 stars on the tongue. You feel what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Right. They ain't even. I don't see nobody with them shits. So I'm finna go ahead and rock the love video right quick. Get love T views right quick. And that'll satisfy me. It don't matter. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them things on feet. Um, it's been like two, three years now. I ain't putting them shoes on, man. Right. Damn. And they just sit. Oh, yeah. and the leather on them shit is sick. I ain't even lying to you. The leather on them things sick, man. All right. That's how them just do it. Like the just do it ones. The leather on them was fire. The um the Nike just do it pack the Air Force Ones yeah the leather yeah. on that was crazy yeah the red the orange one was really nuts yeah, yeah. And, and the ones the Air Max Ones leather was crazy too yeah What's the, uh, I think they just they just they killed that just do it pack though they murdered that. They just kept going, right? Kept they going. kept going. You seen just do it on every type of. And I'm surprised they come out with a just do it. Air, oh, they did the um Jordan one mids. Yeah. Just they like just them having Nike. Reason. Yeah, just like them having Nike day. They doing the same thing. Yeah. No, nah, that just do it was worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the just do it was worse. The, the have a Nike yeah. day was just for that month. Then once that sold out, that was it. That right. that that just do it stuff was everywhere. It's still everywhere. Yeah, yeah they put them yeah, on every shoe. They put on t shirts, socks, pants, hats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that logo though. Like, hey, six kids with kicks. I'm gonna shoot that out there. Just for just do it. <laughs> <You know what? laughs> That's that logo, man. Y'all hit that like button too. Stop playing games. Yep. For sure, for sure. What's the uh, most anticipated shoe y'all got in your collection that you haven't undies yet that you looking to bring out this summer? Woo, boy. Ooh, Ooh, my just, just for a barbecue, just you know you're going. And I'm going to bust somebody across the head with them joints. I go now, but mine is the Gatorade ones, uh, the oranges and the blue ones. I still ain't wore my blue ones. I wear my orange ones. I ain't so, want to answer that. I got to go back and get them because I had the green laces and I, I love flat full uh, Florida hand them. So I was I don't know why I sold that color. I got to get that one back. That was one. It's of all about back. the you, baby. It's all about the you, man. Yeah. But let me see the shoe that I want to bring out this summer. The, the that's nine. That's BS. Nine that's, for me. Yeah. I can't, I can't find a reason to bring it out. Though it's like every time I look at it, like ah nah. I'm like, I'm at like OG said, it's got to be indoors. <laughs> it's got to be indoors for that. 
Man, I don't know. I would have to go back there in my room and look. <laughs> I would say, I don't know. I really don't know. Yep, the nines for me. Uh-huh. My the mellow nines, the MOP nines. Cause I even got the uh the mellow two. I ain't seen no reason to bring them out yet. I, I, I told you don't do it with them things, man. I told you don't do it. Yeah, I got the mellow. I ain't bring my I ain't brought my mellow twos yet either. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do like OG said. It's gonna be indoors. I'm gonna have them in hand. Slip along with them. <laughs> hey, uh, Hey, you remember that movie, Love, Just Don't Cut the, um, cross the Thing? You remember they went to the beach? Oh, yeah, he had you got him around his neck. You got him around his neck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would have had these on right here, baby, but I'm, you know. <laughs> I'm going to roll this way. <clears throat> and I ain't breaking out the concourse. That's, that's next year sometime, so. That's how you do it. That's what I've been trying to tell my team. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah any any big GR year. that's sold out or was OG color, you're going to sit on that for about a year. Because they're going to run through them fours rough this summer, boy. You're going to see them fours yeah. at every barbecue, every Horrible. concert, everything. <laughs> Either I'm OG. I'll be, I be happy for that, OG. Let me tell you why. Because you're going to know what not to wear with them shoes. Because you're going to see everybody else's mistake. <laughs> for real. Right. Hey, you know, hey, you know, like, like when the uh, top threes first came out and people didn't like them. And then so like a lot of people had copped them. Man, and like when I seen them, I'm like, man, I'll do one red lace and then one blue lace. Then I seen it yeah. on food, I'm like, nah, I ain't going to do that. Man. I'm going to keep it regular. <laughs> I'm going to do regular. one black lace and one white lace, but I'm going to leave it as that. Yep. Oh. Hey, but yeah, I've been thinking like I got a lot of, um, you know, we get a lot of screens with the mids. I ain't going to lie to you because I be covering all the little SE. So I've been thinking about putting um any different color shoe screens. I'm going to just be looking at them. You feel what I'm saying? Just to see what's going on. I really ain't a lace swap dude, but I just want to see what's going on. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And, hey, it's, it's the color they got you can put in there, man. I ain't going to tell you because nobody ain't rocking it with it yet. <laughs> You're going to be like, that boy, that's stupid, man. Because it depends on what you're wearing with it also. True. And well, that my- one color will bring out everything else. My question is, why in the hell does the crimson tent got green laces in the bag? How in the hell can you pull that off? Because they see nah, I ain't got I ain't got nothing to do with that. I got another shoe for that, man. Come on, that's what I'm just telling you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we got other shoes for those shoe screens, man. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't know. I don't know about that. I know the Nike and inside of them is the it's a Nike and the inside, and that's green. That's the only green I see that's on the shoe. I seen the tours have them all the other day. I was like, that is not the business. That's got to be for some other shoe that you get. Like you said, you put that in something else. But that yeah. shoe, yeah. green is ain't cutting it. Ain't no. Yeah, hit. they just they just be giving. I think they just throwing out extra laces at this point. They just and, like here you um, go. You ain't even it. see you ain't even see a shirt with that yet. <laughs> like right. we put a green <laughs> lace. Still kind of with the uh, AKA colors too. Which one? The South Beach. Nah, the with the green laces with the crimson tint. It's kind of like an AKA color too. Okay. Let me see. Black. Mm. No, nah, that ain't no AKA. <laughs> but the AKA got more green, right? More green in the in the pink, darker, isn't it? I mean lighter. I don't know, it's close. There's it's too much black. If it had some green in there, it would be all right, but ain't no green in that shoe, I think, unless it's on the tongue or something. No, nah, it ain't even on the tongue. I don't nope. think so. It's just oh, black one. The, the ones. Yo, the crimson tint. No. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't no green in it. it it's all black and, and like light, light pink. Okay, so like you said, Jordan Brand is making you just give me making you think you're getting some bang for the buck. Then you just put it in some other shoe. Look, this the this the only green that's on the shoe. It's the only green that's actually on the shoe. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Dang. That's it. There's nothing. There's no green. You know, usually they put like the green or something right here. Right. It's not. It's, it's nothing like on the bottom. I nothing is green. It's, they just. They just giving you some extra shoelaces. Like like he said, for a whole nother shoe. It ain't for this shoe. For it's for something nah. else that's coming out. 
It's for the Travis Scott. Yeah. That's what it's for. Or, or maybe you maybe you add up the money for the Soul Fly One, right? And grab them. It's for the Travis Scott. Yeah, Did y'all see that merch? Y'all see the merch for the Travis Scott? It had green in it. It had red, brown, pink. I'm straight. It had a. I got it's it coming. Man, Travis man. Scott. That's what it's for. Making these own shirts, man. I got it coming. I was gonna cop some Travis Scott shirt. I'm like, yeah, y'all wear them shoes. Y'all want y'all gonna want this shirt. I should have copped up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I grabbed the shirt off his website. I put it with 20, 30, and sold it for a hundred dollars. The off-white. Okay. But I didn't know he actually went to school for hey that game for free. Stuff. You needed to have a book for that right there. Next day. Yeah, Travis Scott, yeah. he actually went to school for that. I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. He he was he's a he was a out. model for Louis Vuitton and all that stuff, too. Yeah. Hey, they he, follow that's that Kanye get, West wave though. Hey, next time you give out information like that, you need to have a button that say game for free. So these right. people in the chat can go ahead and soak that up because I just did. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, tell yeah. you that much. Yeah, yeah. Them, man, them shirts. Yeah, you can I make a skin of that up. off white, bro. They you just you okay. just grab it and sell it on eBay. These jokers, like you said, anything with collab, man, people eat it up. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. You, know, you, know, you know you're gonna take it. Okay. <laughs> what, you do do is, what you do is you got your computer up, you going for the shoe on the computer, then on the phone, you going for the merch. Yep. <laughs> so you so you gonna you you gonna take a W one way or the other. Yeah, like I finally got the Sean Weatherspoons last year and I'm looking for the shirts. All the shirts is like a hundred some dollars. I look up the hat, the hat like a hundred some dollars. I'm like, man, what's going on? Yep. Anytime crazy. either or both would be ideal, right? But you can kind of ease the pain if you get the merchandise. And the Witherspoons then went up some more from what I heard. The air, I was like, dang. Oh, they went up crazy for Air Max month. Cause at first they were sitting at like 600 something. Like my size, like the size nine and a half I got was like 600 something when I got it. I had to trade a shoe and add some cash to get it. Yeah, so like you said, that's free game right there. Merch or the shoe or both preferably, but it helps. And look at 313. She eating up popcorn all and didn't offer us none. That's right. Oh, virtual yeah. popcorn. <laughs> Man, that uh whatchamacallit is up there. It was like I think it's thirty dollars on Nike. But I was on eBay and the walk the dog t shirt, just a regular little t shirt. It's got like a little dog, a few little dogs hanging out the pocket. They want like sixty bucks for it. Oh, and then it's just the leash, the stickers. There's something. I think it's just the leash and the stickers. They want like $180 for a leash. Right. I'm just tripping. Didn't didn't DJ Eleanor somebody had a um the Tinker threes for like what 130, 140? I was tripping out. Yeah, like 149, I think. Yep. That's crazy. That is crazy. But all of it is a Jedi mind trick, though, because most of the people, my hardest thing is I'd rather be able to cop the shoe right there and walk out the store with it. I hate paying for something. You got to sit there and wait. It wouldn't be too bad if I was in the States, right, because you get it a day or two. But here you're looking at a week, sometimes yeah. three to five days if you're lucky, but most of the time it's a week. So that's that's the Jedi mind trick of everything. Mm -mm. I learned to be patient. Yeah. Especially if you can't get it back to the store. Now you stuck with it like man. Mm. We ain't got no detail in our we ain't got no hibits and all of the other stuff over here. So it'll be a headache. We can leave this game right now. It would be a headache. Which y'all only got foot locker and foot action? Yep, foot locker, foot action, champs, and high ass shoe palace. That's a last resort for me. Yeah, yeah, I'm limited over there. Never put nothing on sale. Yeah, shoe palace. Yeah, shoe palace. Don't they don't get no discounts or nothing. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. And then besides the resale shop. Yeah, I think I was in. I was in we, Vegas. We had Nike Town, but the the Brainiacs, the building they had was freaking too big, and they lost their lease. They ended up going out of business. 
Dang. I know that was rack up season right there when they was going out of business. That was that was nuts. But it, but you can but we still got the Adidas out there, but you kind of dry. You don't get nothing but the typical no NMDs, no boost. You may get the other one with that pure boost. I only oh, rock shell toes anyway, so that wouldn't matter to me. I only oh, yeah, yeah. Toes. They got shell toes in there all day, so you be good. Yeah. Still old school, man. I still got that old school little dope boy vibe. Yeah, I remember. You know, I used to watch them boys growing up, man. Them boys used to be fly, man. Yeah, the Adidas shell toe. Then they brought them other designs out, the run DMC type, the other newer version of it. Everybody was yeah, on that way. Nice too. Right. Hey, like um, I know we ain't shorties no more, but if they get the colors right, if they bring cross colors back, bro, and do it right, man. You feel what I'm saying? That shit will pop off. Right. Sure. Yeah, my kids they love that shit. They will hop right on it. Mm-mm. All right, my good people. Where well, we been on here? What oh, time fly? I was like an hour and a half. It don't even seem like it, but really? oops. <laughs> that oops. Damn. Yeah, so we'll see. Hopefully, uh, we go to my own. Got my chips, you know. <laughs> I got my, I got my Modelo down there, man. That I got my salsa. Knocking me. <laughs> yeah, I guess I may go down here with the single de Mayo people Mm-mm. and see what happens. No, thank you. <laughs> go ahead and get you some footage, man. I'll watch it. Go ahead and get some content. Right. Yeah, it's only that's, early. that's what I should have did. What what go get you some content? Yeah, because you know we got a whole Mexican town here. That's what's out. You yeah, know, so they lit right now. They turn out like it's ridiculous. Like the people that stay on the corner, they Mexican. They be having the mariachi bands out there and all kind of stuff. They ain't playing. It's a garbage can full of beer right now. And if you walk by, you come come eat. Come, come. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Empanadas over here. We got that shit popping. Yeah. They're like, yep. I mean, they're super nice people too. Cause like, they'll like take stuff to my Whoa. grandparents or whatever. Yeah. You know, they, my grandparents will watch their house while they out of town. Like, you know. Yeah. They just be vibing. They don't be yeah. fucking with nobody. They work they six don't. days a week. Man. But, man. Hey, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, E. That's why I ain't trying to be funny, right? You know, some of the people be putting up, um, I got these shoes from the Mexicans in the middle of the mall, and that's right. supposed to be funny, and that's supposed to be funny in the joke, right? But think right. about it. The Mexicans got all the good, whatever you need, bro. They got the good jewelry. They got the good this. They got the good that. How they shoes fake? Right. I, I'm, I'm just saying, though. Bro, you want to go get you some nice Cuban links and go all that, bro? The Mexicans <laughs> got it, bro. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, but the shoe is fake, though. I, I, it just be funny to me, man. You want that good whatever you need, the Mexicans got it. You oh, yeah. Me? They be on <laughs> their grind. Bro. They be on their grind. Yeah, I mean, the place I go to, um, <laughs> shit. the place I go to is um, ran by Mexicans. Yeah. They be getting Chicago, it. Chicago Emporium, they get, and they, and, and they get all early stuff. Come yeah, on, man. man. They making moves all right. the time. These people got connects like crazy, man. Yep. It don't stop for them. Not all right. All. People, it, was all, it was good chopping up. Thank everybody for stopping through. So let's go around the panel. Let everybody know where they can find y'all at before we get out here. Well, y'all gonna make me go first anyway. Y'all can find me on Instagram, 313RetroQueen, IG, 313 underscore retro underscore queen. I'm out. All right, I'll go next. You can find me on YouTube, OG Kicks, also on Instagram, OG underscore Kicks with a Z underscore. ATL, baby. We out. I am that dude. On YouTube, I am that dude 1700 on IG. Y'all check me out, man. Yo, PM Kicks with a Z on YouTube. PM Kicks with a Z underscore on Instagram. And PM Kicks on Twitch as well. You feel me? Go, to, go follow yeah. my Twitch, man. We do some game and stuff, too. Let's go. 
He on the new yes. wave. And his E Money Shoes on IG, E Money Shoes on YouTube. Go sub up to everybody. I know most people is kind of early today, so they'll probably catch it on the replay. Thanks for everybody in the chat for stopping through, leaving a couple comments. Thanks and enjoy the rest of your Cinco de Mayo. Be safe out there, and we out. Peace.